I have spent the last one and a half years uh, scheduling all of my meetings online with my clients manually, running through emails and telephone uh, calls to find the most suitable time for them to have a meeting. It wasn't until recently that I found this software uh, is an online scheduler called Calendly.com. It basically allows you to schedule all of your meetings online automatically uh, when your client is 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 free at their own convenient time. People can actually find you online and decide to schedule a meeting with you. In fact, I've had people scheduling a meeting through my website by just clicking like this. I'm going through my calendar. This is my calendar. They can decide to go through and choose when they want to have a meeting with me, uh, enter the credentials and s schedule the event. Hi, I'm Ulrich. I'm a digital marketer. I help businesses grow online using digital um, marketing. In the next line of this video, we will go through how to set up your online scheduler. So, Calendly, why I use Calendly is great functionalities. It, uh, it integrates with a lot of uh, software, a lot of platforms, integrates with Zapier. You, 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 you get SMS notification as well. If you, if you want to try it out, you don't need to insert your credit card. You can go for the basic plan, which is $0, $0.0. No credit card required. But after you try for two weeks, you can come up and go for the premium or the pro version. I recommend to go for the pro version. By the way, I'm not an affiliate to Calendly. It's just, I always recommend what's great for my audience or for, you know, for people really. So let's go. To sign up, you just need your email. I'm not gonna spend time to sign up because I know this is, this is really basic. You don't even need a credit card to do it. But I will sh show you how to set up. So after you've signed up, you will come up to this specific page. Once you come up to this specific page, okay, to create an event, you, you, you have to come here to event type, click on new event type. It's going to show you one-on-one -on -one and group. Group is for the pay uh, version only. It's for like a group meetings, you know, but I will go for one-on-one. -on -one. Event type is going to be coaching session. No, I'm going to name event type discovery. Discovery call. Discovery call, I'll, I'll go for 15 minutes, no more than 15 minutes. And the color, I will choose color just to be organized. I might have different events and it's great to know the different color for your events. Or you can name it it's fine so i would choose a blue and then next duration of the event is 15 minutes rolling day event can be scheduled over even my event can only be scheduled over five days because when you leave it for too long like two weeks three weeks people tend to forget they might schedule an event in three weeks and then they forget time zone you don't need to worry about the time zone the invitees we auto the time zone we automatically populate based on the country uh set your availability hours when people schedule i'll go tomorrow i want to be available from from 9 to 2 p.m and i'll add another interval from 4 p.m till 6 p.m. So I have two hours interval in between my scheduling. Apply to the seven, apply to all Thursday, apply to multiple, I'll apply to multiple. So I'll block up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for meetings. I don't work on Saturdays, but I'm free on Monday. So I'll block up those days. And yeah, so as you can see, as soon as I've, I've blocked up my time is automatically populated. Um, now we go to advanced, show availability in increments of 15 minutes, not in 30 minutes. Max number of events per day, I'll go for five. Uh, prevent event less than four hours away, less than 24 hours away is better. So people can schedule events, you know, 24 hours away. 
event buffer. So it basically means uh, before and after the event. I like to add, add sometimes my event tend to overlap because sometimes my clients want to know more about what I do. What I like to do, I prefer to give 50 minutes before and 50 minutes after uh, so, so that I don't get caught off guard. Hide this event from your main calendar play page. No, I'll just leave it like that. Uh, next. Invitee question. So in the past, people used to schedule a meeting with me and they turn up and they were not qualified. The reason being is because I didn't pre-qualify them. So a, a, a pre-qualifying process could be asking specific questions or regarding the business. And those questions are going to help you to evaluate if they're the right fit for you. So I've now decided to uh, pre-qualify my, my applicants before we even talk. Therefore, I brought in the questionnaires in place. So I'm asking for the phone number. Well, actually, I need to put the as a required field. I'm asking for what type of business. Or I'll say, who do you serve? I'll say, who do you serve? Or what do you sell? Just one line, require, apply. Have you ever run any type of online advertisement before? It, you know, it doesn't hurt if somebody says no, it, it's fine, but I need to know those information. Okay, require. What is your website address or Facebook? Oh, no, sorry, or social media page or social media page. What is your website or social media? The reason why I ask these questions is because I want to find out more about the business. I will go through the Facebook page, go through the website and look at what they do. Uh, so I will have a better understanding of what kind of business they are into. And then apply. I'll add another one. Another question is... Uh, are you in a position of investing in advertisement? Okay. Are you in a position of investing in your marketing or in advertisement? Because this specific uh, session is about a discovery call about um, paid advertisement or marketing. If they are not willing to advertise, if they say no, down here, I will just disregard them and I will cancel the meeting that they've booked. I'm not going to approve the meeting. Uh, um, what is the best way to contact you? Require button. I'll put Zoom and then I'll put telephone. Delete the third one. Zoom and telephone. These are the only two ways I can reach out to people. So I think I have added six extra questions. In total, I have eight questions. So save and close. Now, notifications are calendar policy. Uh, yes, notification. Switch to email, cancellation, personalize. 
here you can personalize how you want and then save text message reminder this is for the paid uh, plan email reminder i can switch that on yes email reminder you see even even email reminder is for the paid plan as well so you can customize it too uh yes so cancellation yeah i also need to upgrade yeah okay awesome and after that after after i've done all of those steps i need to save uh confirmation page display calendar confirmation page display button to schedule another event custom link is for the paid plan as well collect payment is for the paid plan you know so if you want to know how to connect the pay plan for your coaching or for your business uh drop me a message uh this this specific consultation is is uh, is going to be paid because there's things like cancellation policy a lot of details you know which i need to show you and it's going to take quite some time you need to pay for that uh if it, if you want to you know if you want to know more about it so i've now set up all the events event type is on okay uh okay discovery call now i have the discovery call event it's done you see discovery call 15 minutes okay because i've, I've not exhausted so for the free plan just a reminder you can only have one meeting at a time you know uh i'll copy now this link and integrate it into my website. Sorry, bewitchmedia one dot com. Work with me. Okay. Edit. I will come here to request your free strategy code. That's where I need to change sorry as you can see here that's on the previous uh previous one i had integrated my calendar but I, i'm just putting it just to show you and that's it i've done it exit it's all been updated don't forget to update that also friends how to set up your calendar online so people can easily find you and book you for business you know or you can send a link to um your client or your prospect to schedule a meeting with you you know like now i've clicked here a lot of people find me online one-on-one -on -one consulting they click on the you know they click on the date that's available confirm they fill in the form they fill in the form and uh yeah and then i'll speak to them later please comment down below if you think i've left anything uh if you have any suggestions as well please let me know and don't forget to subscribe thank you take care and have, have a nice one bye